Hey everybody, it's Zach. Welcome back to the Heroverse. And guys, I just got done with the finale of Season 3 of The Mandalorian. It was Episode 8, titled The Return, if I'm correct. Um, guys, like I said, this was a pretty good finale. Um, that's really all I can really say about it. It was a pretty damn good finale. There was definitely some cute moments in this episode. And there was definitely just non-stop action in this episode. I mean, we literally did not take our foot off the, the the gas from last week's episode we kept going and it literally continued with Bo-Katan asking you know uh Axe Wolves to kind of go up to tell the fleet that you know this was an ambush here on Mandalore and that you know Moth Gideon has these advanced troopers and you know what I mean like we need uh, you know reinforcements and pretty much Mando and Grogu are trying to find Moth Gideon and trying to take him out because they're like we can't run anymore like we have to take out Moth Gideon before he gets his you know gets his clone his clone versions of himself that are kind of like you know force sensitive um, you know what i mean before he's able to get them out and is able to like take over the galaxy because i guess you know he made clones that are like like have like the like have force sensitivity and you know what i mean and they're also with the highly advanced you know beskar armor like he wants to make like the best of both of the mandalorian and also the jedi he wants to make the best of both worlds and he wants to take over the galaxy he does not care what the empire or like what the empire you know what I mean? With them, you know, waiting for Thrawn. He's like, I'm not waiting for Thrawn. I'm going to make my own, you know, army and I'm going to take over the galaxy and you guys are going to like bow down to me, essentially. Like that. he's on his own little power trip on Mandalore. And you know what I mean? It was really, it was just, this episode was just fun on the fact that, you know, it was it, like the, the, well, the coolest sequence of this episode had to have been with Bo-Katan flying with the Darksaber with the whole, you know, uh, with, the, with the fleet, with the, the Mandalorian fleet, and also was flying in with the armor, and the armor was kicking ass. And so was Bo-Katan with the Darksaber flying around, like flying and taking out those those new newly advanced, you know, troopers in the Beskar armor. That was really, that was a cool sequence. And seeing the armor kind of fly around like Thor with the, her hammer, and she was just kicking ass with the hammer, was sick. That whole sequence was sick. It doesn't take a lot to to make me happy as a Star Wars fan to see a cool battle like that between these new advanced Mandalorian stormtroopers versus the Mandalorians, if, and you know what I mean, and, and, and Bo Katan flying in the battle with the dark saber with the with the whole Mandalorian army behind her. What what else could I ask for? That was peak. That was peak Star Wars right there when we got that. I was like I can I was like I can't even like ask for anything else like th this is this is peak you know what i mean so and i feel like that was john favreau and dave filoni just coming in again knowing what we want as star wars fans so that part was peak seeing also grogu like you guys you know din and grogu get separated where you know din is dealing with moth gideon and is like in his zerg armor because literally bro had like zerg armor from toy story they he literally looked like Zerg. Someone tell me otherwise, because bro looked like Zerg. Um, and he was fighting fighting Zerg. <laughs> and uh and pretty much, you know, Grogu was fighting those, you know, uh guards from The Last Jedi that uh Kylo and Ray fought. They're like the, the, the guards that protected Snoke. He's fighting them and it was funny because he was up on the beam and he's kinda like flipping around outside that mech suit, so he's like flipping around up there trying to get away from them. And eventually he ends up using the force in this in this episode in the finale and he ends up like taking a lot of the guards like pushing them around the room and it's just he was really executing the force and it was really cool to see him use the force because we we, we, we rarely ever see him use the force and really you can really see that the training the little training that he got from Luke ended up paying off because he was able to help out Din and Bo-Katan kind of take take out you know Moth Gideon. Um, which was really cool because Moff Gideon ends up breaking the dark saber while like uh, while uh, Bo-Katan ends up you know you know swooping in because Bo-Katan's like okay like you go save Grogu with those guards trying to take him and try to take or trying to hurt him while I you know deal with Moff Gideon with the dark saber and mind you like he ends up breaking the dark saber because I guess that Zerg armor is strong and and he was able to like crunch it but it was really cool when like. You know, Bo-Katan said, I have the whole, you know, Mandalorians are strong when you have other Mandalorians, like, you know, that have your back. And that's when Din came in and, and Grogu came in and they ended up pretty much wrecking, you know, pretty much ended up, you know, you know, just taking out Moff Gideon to the point where, like, Axe Wolves ends up taking that ship 
that he was like, because he was being in this distraction with the Imperial ship, and he ends up like crashing it in the cave of Mandalore, and to the point where like this thing is on fire because you know, you know, a uh, Moff Gideon told his uh, you know, his his uh, his fighters to go out there and just shoot the ship, and Axe was was being a distraction while the other you know reinforcements could go help you know Bo Katan out. So I really love when like the ship is on fire. He ends up pretty much you know crashing the ship, but Axe was is able to get out before the ship ends up crashing, and literally the whole cave ends up getting engulfed in flames. And pretty much you know Moff Gideon ends up getting like totally engulfed in flames. Like he ends up getting like fried. Bro definitely disintegrated because while they survived Din and Bo Katan because of Grogu using a force field, the flames were still going. And I kept saying to myself, "There's no way." bro is alive he got engulfed in flames and the flames are still going he's dead he's disintegrated i don't want no bullshit if there is going to which apparently there is going to be a season four i don't want no bullshit where he's like oh he's alive he's dead <laughs> he is dead let's not go too overboard to the point where like the fire was still going bro is dead if you weren't in the force field with grogu and bo-katan and din you're you're dead as simple as that um so other than that, you know, I, I thought that was very satisfying seeing, you know, Moff Gideon get killed because I was like, bro, you're annoying. You talk too much. You're an old man in, in a suit of armor. Get out of here with your Toy Story armor looking like Zerg. So I was like, get out of here. Um, but other than that, the thing I that, that was the highlight of this episode is that Din officially adopts Grogu in this episode at the end of the episode. And says that he wants, you know, Grogu to be his apprentice. He's like, I'm, I, I officially want Grogu to be my apprentice. And for me, the, for me to have that happen, I'm adopting him. And he now Grogu now goes by Din Grogu. And I find that adorable that Mando officially adopted him, even though we kind of like already, we kind of already got the grasp that he adopted Grogu, and he was kind of already like a father figure for Grogu. We kind of already like got that sense. But to hear him find, like actually tell the armor and tell all the other Mandalorians that were there to witness in the in the in the in the minds of Mandalore that he's like I when I take Grogu as my apprentice and you know what I mean and I and and I am adopting him. That was adorable, and the fact that he got to take you know Grogu and he ended up taking him back to uh to where uh what's his face what's his face lives uh. What, like what, what, uh, uh, Navarro, and I can't remember the dude that runs Navarro. I think his name is uh. Why am I forgetting? Why am I forgetting his name? It's like I gotta look. I gotta look it up because it's like gonna kill me that I can't remember his name. Um, let me look up Mandalorian. It's it's like literally on the tip of my tongue too. And this happens every time. Okay, so Grief Karga, Grief Karga, of course, runs Navarro and said to Mando, saying like, "Oh, like early, it was in episode one. He said, told Mando, he's like, you know, you and you know, uh, you know, Grogu can you know have a, your own place to stay here. You guys can have a home and settle down." He got a home on Navarro, and Grogu is the cute because you see it right here on the uh, on my on right here the picture of like Grogu. You know, we have Din sitting on the porch like a father. And, you know what I mean? And Grogu is out in the yard playing with frogs. It's like they got their happy ending. And then here's my problem. Because it's like, I don't want them messing with this. I'm probably the only one. I can't imagine I am the only one. But, like, I don't want a season four. I feel like this is perfect. And I feel like I don't need... I feel like if we take... like they have their ha They have their happy ending. I feel like if we do a season four and we put them back out... Where and and we already saw all the connections of them wanting to connect this to the pre, to the sequels because of the whole you know guards that protected Snoke, and we see all the we see all the kind of like the the, the newfound technology that the that the new order that the that the that the first order or the the new world I forget what the hell that they, they they call themselves in like the the sequels of Star Wars but like the new Empire does, I think they are called the new Empire whatever, it, it, it makes me worried that since we're connecting so much stuff to the sequels that it makes me wonder like okay like does this mean that they die that like you know what I mean if we keep continuing does this mean that like my worst fear is going to happen or like is is Grogu going to go back to Luke and be at the Jedi Temple and end up getting killed by Kylo is that does this mean that that is a possibility that that's what can happen if we continue like it makes me wonder like or like not even only that but like if we continue is there a chance that like oh will we see like Din die eventually or will, will we see and then and then like Grogu will be like 
parentless. You know what I mean? Like, or will this, or will this, may, will, will Grogu die if we continue? You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't, I, I want to leave them alone. They got their happy ending. I don't need a, I don't need a season four. You know what I mean? I just don't need it. And it's one of those things where it's like, I already didn't like that so many things were tying into the sequels because of Kathleen Kennedy was kept getting involved and John Favreau was getting ready to leave this season because she kept trying to meddle in what he was trying to do this season. I already don't like the fact of that. If you guys know me, you guys know I didn't like the sequels and I don't like... I, I'm not a big fan of the, I'm not I, I'm not a fan of the character Ray and stuff like that and and I'm just I'm not a fan of the sequels I'm just not simple as that, um, and I'm not I'm not happy that they want to continue the sequels I think that Disney is digging their grave even more because clearly they're not listening to the Star Wars fans because a lot of people don't want that, and it clearly I guess they didn't hear about like the the out the out I guess the about the feedback from the fans of not liking the sequels, but yet they're going to make more movies that you know that are continuing with the sequels and stuff. It's like, what are you doing? So I, I I'm already like, I want to leave this alone before we keep going down the before we keep connecting things to the sequels. And I'm like, okay, they they ruined this because I already feel like also I don't need a season four because I feel like they didn't. I feel like this season alone felt like they did not know what they were doing until like the last minute. It felt like we really just I really didn't know what they were trying to do this season until like the last two episodes where I feel like okay, I kind of get it now what we are doing here. So it was one of those things where I feel like we really and also I feel like this finale did feel a little rushed. It kind of it did. It was only like forty something minutes long and it felt like we it, it was really rushing its way through. And I feel like the season in general felt like it was rushing its way through on the fact that we, we got the Mandalore in episode like two. So in reality, I feel like this season felt a little rushed, a little all over the place, and it felt like it really didn't know what it wanted to what it really didn't know what message it wanted to like it really didn't know what it wanted to like execute in the story. So in in reality, I am satisfied because we had a two, two great episodes to end off the season out of like two episodes i really didn't like the most i i i want more well, actually there, there was like three episodes i really didn't like a lot and it was episodes five i think and it was episode i can't remember i can't remember i'm actually gonna i actually no i don't want to go on disney plus um it was episode one i really didn't like as much and it was the pirate episode i didn't like as much and it was also the episode that we had we had before the last week's episode and and this episode it was the one with like jack black and lizzo and all that stuff i didn't like that episode and i wasn't really the biggest fan of episode one and the pirate episode so i think those are three episodes if I'm, i think those are three three episodes i didn't like three out of the rest of the episodes the rest of the episodes were okay and also i didn't like yeah 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 i didn't like three out of the rest of the episodes which is which is okay but i would still i would i wouldn't say that this season was better than the two previous seasons I think the two previous seasons were definitely better than this season, without a doubt. I mean, yeah, we got some cool action in here, but I do definitely think that seasons one and two of The Mandalorian are definitely the best seasons of The Mandalorian, and also the the best Star Wars content that we've gotten in forever. I definitely still think that. Like that would that's some of the best Star Wars storytelling and content that we've gotten that we have that we, that we've gotten in, that we haven't got like that we've gotten in a very long time. Simple as that. I definitely think so. Um so I don't know. It's one of those things where like after this season I'm like I don't need another season. We ended things off really well and we gave Grogu and Din their happy ending. I don't want to jeopardize that anymore. I'm really curious to know how you guys feel about that. Do you guys want a season four? And if you guys do want a season four, what do you guys want them to explore in that season? I'm really curious to know. And I also want to know, Do you guys are you guys bothered by the fact that they're tying so many things into the sequels? Does that bother you? Were you a fan of the sequels? Did you not like, or were you, were you not a fan of the sequels? I'm really curious to know down in the comments below where your opinion is on that. Let me know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my, that, that's all, my, that's pretty much my entire thoughts on the, the season and this episode. I thought it was okay, and I thought they, and I thought they, they ended the season pretty strong. Other than the fact that it felt a little rushed, the season and this finale. I thought, but I, I had a fun time with this finale. That's the, that's the most important part. I had a fun time. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much my, 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 my. The, the how i'm feeling about me not really wanting a season four right now but you never know maybe when i get like when i when i like when we kind of get more information on what season four is going to be about about maybe i'll i'll care about it a little bit more and maybe i'll want that season but as of right now i'm like i don't need it 
I don't need it. I'm okay if we don't get another season of Mandalorian. Especially after the fact of not even them just getting their happy ending, but like how how much I thought the season really was like mid. <laughs> so it's kind of like I'm okay that that we're not gonna you know make make the show like ruin the kind of ruin the 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 positive you know kind of ruin the uh, the positive outlook when you think about the Mandalorian. I don't want it, it to keep going and it'd be like okay we're this is really getting trash. I don't want it to become like that. And I feel like this season was kind of like, oh, we're kind of going into that territory where, like, this is really getting bad because we don't really know where we're going this season. It kind of feels rushed and weird. And, yeah. I don't want to keep digging that grave. Where, like, when we think of Mandalorian, we're like, oh, bro, like, oh, God, that show was trash. Or, like, it was good at one point and then became trash. I don't want us to think about the show that way. So I'm kind of like, let's just call it quits. Let's. Let's do another story. Let's do something else, okay? Um, but that was pretty much my thoughts. Like I said, on the finale and the season of Ma of, of the Mandalorian, um, season three. Uh, guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts about this season, about this episode, about w w like about if you guys will even want a season four, and if you guys do want a season four, what do you guys hope to see in season four? Again, here if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, put in those notifications, like this video. I'd love to have you guys here, part of the fan, part of the channel. Well, about spreading love, positivity, and motivation. And yet again, guys, we are almost to 700 subscribers. That is the goal to hit 700 subscribers. My initial goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Um, so if you love The Mandalorian just as much as I do, and you and you like this finale, or you didn't like this finale, or you like the content that I do here on the channel, if you guys like if you guys like the same stuff I, I like, definitely, yet again, I would love it if you guys could subscribe to the channel, put in those notifications, and like this video. But guys, that was the video. I hope everybody has a great day, a safe day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.